go on, wa, go on, what's great? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome and thank you very much for stopping by. My name is Chef Adrian Morris and you're watching Morris Time Cooking. As seen in the title, today I'll be showing you how to make some Jamaican Bula Ampere ice cream cake. Never heard of it? Yes, I know. I've had it on my mind for the longest and I was so excited to get it ready for you. And today is the day. So if that sounds interesting, stick around. It's after the intro, we get right into it. We know about sardines, yeah. Yeah. chicken neck, yeah. chicken back. Yeah. And to kickstart our ice cream, we just need a few ingredients, quite quick and easy. So let's get cooking. So the first thing you want to do, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And you want to get yourself a sheet pan. I'd say 18 by 9 or 18 by 10, right? This is what I'm using. If you have a bigger one, perfect. Because the butter that I'm going to be using for the bulla. It's gonna be a little bit more because I don't want this to be too thick nor too thin, right? So let's get going. You need some butter that's in the fridge and you're gonna rub that onto the tray. You can use oil for this method if you don't have butter. Parchment paper. We need these to come up right up off the side. Like so, perfect. And then the reason why we grease this is to hold it down as well as whenever time we're done baking this bulla, we can remove it easily from the pan, right? Get that nice. Go into the next layer of butter or oil. And this is to ensure once the cake is baked, it can release from the, this grease paper easily as well. Just about a tablespoon of flour on here. Get out the excess. All right, the excess is gone. Because what you don't want, you don't want lumps of flour to be around here. That's why you need a nice, even layer of the butter. Or you can use oil with a brush. Put that to the side. All right, we're going to set that behind us. So that's prepared, all right? Okay, so a quick glance at our ingredients. We have here 150 grams of sifted, all purpose, our table flour. We have 100 grams of brown sugar, you need that nice brown sugar for the color of the bulla, you know what I say? Over here I have an ounce and a half of ginger, 1.5 ounce there about, fresh ginger already washed. I have a half teaspoon of baking powder, I have one tea half teaspoon of nutmeg, sorry, half teaspoon of cinnamon, half teaspoon of salt. Over here I have um, 1.5 ounce of butter, half teaspoon of vanilla extract, and we have here one and a half tablespoon of dark molasses, two eggs, one ounce of water. And those are the ingredients that we're gonna be using for this nice bulla crust for the cake. So let's go on. All right, so the first thing you wanna do, you're gonna see for dry ingredients in, baking powder, nutmeg, cinnamon, salt. Sift that to release any form of lump. Because you know the cinnamon and the nutmeg, sometimes the nutmeg has a lot of lumps. Right? There. Alright, just gonna mix that up nicely. To incorporate everything, we don't want some parts tasting like spices and some parts bland. So make sure we mix up that nicely. Set that to the side. Then we have the sugar. But before the sugar, we're gonna go into that ounce of water. That fresh ginger, give that fresh ginger a quick chop so to help out the blender a little bit. Yeah, man. Into our water, and I don't use a lot of water here because the egg is liquid, the molasses, the butter, and the vanilla. Need a little bit more water. Just a little bit. As I said, I don't want too much water in this recipe because I have so much water going on with everything else. Grab a strainer and write in the sugar with that um, blended ginger. I'm gonna squeeze out that. 
we strained the ginger my battery died so it wasn't showing it properly so now we have the ginger in there push that to the side we're working with two eggs here crack the eggs and we're going to separate the egg yolk from the white beautiful so egg white there and the egg yolk put the egg yolk right in to that sugar and ginger mixture again all right in there we're going into our melted butter our vanilla extract and of course our molasses the molasses gives it color and a nice flavor it slides right out I'm gonna give this a proper mix break the yolk and then we're just gonna mix I think I'm gonna be needing a little bit more water So give and take three to four ounces of water. All right, mix that, set that to the side. Add our egg white to a tall enough bowl, like so. About a tablespoon of sugar. All right, so we're just gonna whisk this, incorporate some air, get this to a nice mirroring, nice and foamy. Let's go. So once you can do this, and nothing is running then you know your egg is properly whisked right into our flour mix that in so we need a nice runny butter so to speak mm. beautiful all right this is where you're gonna mix 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 to remove any farmer lump that may be here for the egg white we put the egg white in to get it nice and soft and pillowy fluffy right because this is going to create a lot of ear pockets along with that little bit of baking powder so we're going to go into the first serving of this boom mix and cut in so fold that in like so beautiful fold it in gently and once it's fully incorporated then we stop because we don't want to over mix the butter right the ginger turn up on this like foot in a neck. If you know, you know. Fold gently, cut in. But now with our prepare baking tray. And as I said, I may not use all of this because I want this to be nice and thin. All right. Just gonna help it by spreading it evenly. Alright, knock it down, get it nice and smooth, remove the ear pockets. Now, we're going to bake this for about 10 to 12 minutes, you have to keep a keen eye on it because it can go real fast and we don't want it to dry out, right? Just need it to be nice and spongy. So once you touch the middle and it's a bit springy, it's ready to go. So 10 to 12 minutes in. Alright, middle rack. 10 to 12 minutes, let's go. Gonna bake this for the same time. Beautiful. Ah. Nice, now man. Beautiful. Get that melted butter right away and hit that. Brush on the melted butter while it's hot. Set this to the side. All right, you get yourself a nice clean table rag or dish towel, any way you call it. Get another piece of grease paper. Brush on some more butter on here or, or oil, whichever one you have. That way, this doesn't stick. So you realize I put oil, butter on the top, not oil, sorry. Just because you want that sheen for the finish. And a bit of oil on this grease paper layer. Because we don't want anything sticking. 
beautiful see so grease that so it falls out easily all right see you know remove that easily see that easy remove because we grease that properly I have a little bit of issue come on come on Wow, perfect thickness that I want. Easy. Thank you, grease paper. See, roll that up right away while it's hot. Nice. We're just going to allow this to cool down. Once it's cooled down, you're going to see the rest. The next day. All right, so the first thing I have here is one teaspoon of vanilla extract and quarter teaspoon of salt. We have that in our blender and we have here two avocado. I went ahead and I removed the seeds. We're just going to core those out right into our blender because we need to blend these out nice first, you know. So 12 ounces, give and take, it's about 10 ounces without the skin, right? So these are 12 ounces. Just cut those up. This is a quick and easy recipe, trust me. Nice avocado ice cream. Scoop out. When we scoop out, we'll be back. One can, depending on how sweet you want it, I'm going to go in with the entire can of condensed milk. Put the milk at the top on the avocado first, because this is an upside down blender. And we need the milk to be here to help blend out everything nicely. Nice. See what that looks like. Nice and creamy green beauty. We have here a cup and a half of whipping cream, heavy cream. 35% is the one that I use. Nice, you don't, cannot use milk, you need heavy whipping cream. Close that, um, low speed. Just gonna beat until it comes to a nice stiff peak. So medium to low speed. And we're gonna beat that. All right, it's almost there. One thing you don't want to over mix this because over mixing will break the cream. All right, still need a little bit more mixing. We're gonna gradually add our pureed avocado. All right. I wanna scoop to make sure there's no traces of just that whipped cream, but we have ice cream. These freeze nicely as well as the glass containers. I don't like to use the plastic containers. These are the ones that I like to use. Get that nice pillowy ice cream in. Wow. So you get cling wrap. Ensure that you cover that thing nicely. You can eat it like this, soft serve if you're into soft serve ice cream. But four to six hours in the freezer and you should be good to go. All right, here goes our ice cream. It has been about six to seven hours now. And yeah, the reveal ice cream scooper. Oh no. So I'm gonna try the sides because the end, middle is not fully ready. Ooh, the side is ready though. All right. Beautiful. So this is what I'm, I was talking about. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Beautiful. Edges are ready. Oh. Beautiful. 
beautiful creamy this is it beautiful ice cream we have the ice cream here let's unravel Ooh, too fast too fast let's unravel our pula all right see how that just spring right back all right now we're gonna fill this with ice cream let's go so what is ice cream is not fully thought um frozen wow creamy all of this we're using all of this ice cream for ice cream cake all of it just like that mm. it's cracking up slightly get it to the edge get it to the edge man level this off as best as possible we're going to roll bring it over like so tuck it under nicely all right see it you now see it you now peel back that nicely that's why we grease this right pull out and peel some of this is a little bit hollow but it's all right uh -huh. easy oh don't ooze out now don't ooze out don't ooze out get that under there want well, ooze out for me you know wrap it right back up nice nice mm. it's oozing right out you know all right some cling wrap have to be moving my hands fast because we don't want this to ooze out moving my hands fast my kitchen is hot just made some bulla all right see it there We're gonna let that freeze until tomorrow morning and then we cut into it pula and pier ice cream cake oh my days the next day all right so it's the next day and the ice cream cake is ready you want to see it let's go all right beautiful let me open this up see what it looks like holy Ja, ja. and the kids are coming over right now so you know you know you know oh my days this is why I put butter on here so it doesn't stick take a good look nice and solid gonna trim a little bit of the edge off because it may have a little bit of that um, grease paper don't want to waste it still no? nice thick slice cuts like butter beautiful that creaminess hold on not yet be patient ready Look at that! Marvelous! Look! Wow! There we go! Oh my days! Wow! Time to dig in! <laughs> Alright, so the crust right here. Gingery. Mm-hmm. Perfect crust. 
just like I remember it back in the day. Only thing is, this is more so bola. Mm -mm. Man, that creamy avocado. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hi, man. Mm -mm. Let it. You taste the avocado. You taste like you know you eat bull and you know you eat pear. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. The ice cream mm. is so creamy. Almost like the fat from the avocado, like buttery in that sense, but so creamy, melting your mouth. Mm -mm. Mm hmm Then the ginger from the book. Mm -mm. We find it. We find listen. Anybody make this recipe, be sure to tag me. And if you got any ice cream shop and say them have it, tell them to so send me a check. No joke. Mm -mm. No joke. Leave a thumbs up on the video. Leave a comment below. And see if you love my vibe. Don't forget to hit subscribe channel. Try it out at home. You won't be disappointed. Once again, thank you very much for watching. You see, until next time, see if travel for the gravel and go and big up on yourself.